Let me tell y'all something, man. I'm just gonna say it like this, y'all. I got some real shit to speak on. Man. I'ma tell y'all something, man. I'ma tell me turn this music down. Let me tell let me turn this music down. All these fur tails got a motherfucker fucked up. You know why? Y'all remember Barney Rubble and the Flintstones? And, and, and this is to the white people. I don't got no hate in my heart. I ain't malicious. I have no malicious intent, man. Because first of all, a motherfucker got his living, got a spirit. Some of y'all don't got no spirits, though. Some of y'all don't got no soul. But it don't matter. That's for God to judge y'all on that at Judgment Day. But all I got to say is... Why y'all deceive so much, man? And it ain't even, it ain't even the society's fault. It's the elite. So since it's the elite's fault, white people should band together and make them give black people all of their wealth back. So y'all, so y'all can have a good life, man. Because man, this world's over with. And when I mean world, the world that y'all know of is almost over with. Now, I can't say that the world going to be destroyed. But what I'm trying to say is, it was plenty worlds. Like, if you gay, that's your world. You know what I'm saying? If you if you a gangster, that's your world. So, with y'all having a, the white privilege mindset, the white privilege world is going to be over with. You know what I'm saying? But that's a whole nother topic. What I'm trying to say is all the deception, man. For instance, when we was kids, we watched the Flintstones. So when you look at that, when you look at that cartoon, it makes you think that Born and Rubble was one with the dinosaurs. We all know that the dinosaurs was a million years ago. So with that in mind, keep that in mind. You gonna always think that white people was her. That was that. That was that was the narrative that was set to make them think, to make us think that they was always here. But y'all wasn't always here. Two thousand years ago, biblically, said Christ died. Okay, was he persecuted by the Roman Empire? You know all the little different stories and all that. And Pharaoh was was was. Uh, was 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 persecuting Christ and all that. Y'all know the story. Anyway, the Bible is part of the the narrative, basically saying that white people was here with Pharaoh. Now, this is what I'm saying. Them pyramids is millions and millions and millions of years ago. So basically, white people want to keep answering, answering these questions. Well, how was they made? How was they made? Because it was a different world. Everybody who built them pyramids was gone. Pharaoh wasn't fucking still alive, probably, man. I don't know. I'm still trying to find the answers to it. I'm just springing the bait and topic to open my people's mind, man. So, ain't no other way to build no pyramids and with some type of sorcery or some type of machinery. And if the machinery was there, it was so long ago that the shit rusted away. It was a whole different world. After the great flood or whatever, biblically, it happened that just they killed everybody. Shit, I mean, the Bible is an excellent book, so I'm not trying to debunk the Bible because without the Bible, we wouldn't have no spirituality. But they never thought we was gonna read. So, you know, the Christ, we all know that Christ is Caesar Borgia, and he's he was married to to the uh, to the painter, and they was gay and all that shit. We all know it. We all know it. It's just my thing is my thing is this, man. If America was destroyed, for instance, how long do y'all think it would take for the streets to be engulfed by vegetation? Probably 20 years. 
now on a big on a big on a big on a bigger aspect how long do you think all the buildings downtown will last now you remember tornadoes hurricanes you know weathering weathering of, of nature weathering on these buildings and stuff like that because if you think about it these, these buildings ain't shit they're supposed to be built anyway you know, they already tried that shit in Babylon, so they building towers straight to the sky. So it lets you know most white people are worship, worshiping Satan. So their image of Christ is Lucifer. But how long do y'all think these buildings will last? These buildings wouldn't last nothing but probably 100 years, and they'll crumble and fall down. And the metal probably wouldn't last nothing but two or 300 more years. Man, that shit will rust away and blow away like the wind. So whatever made these pyramids was in a different world, in a different time. Shit. A different dimension, even. You know what I'm saying? But, um, nah, when you look at, when you look at Freddie Flintstone and the cartoon, Freddie Flintstone, our caveman for that for that matter, doesn't go with dinosaurs. So that's the first narrative that they pushed right there. Try to make it seem like they was here. The second narrative, it was them walking with Pharaoh. No. No. Them pyramids is millions and millions and millions and millions of years old. That was a whole different world. Just like this world's gonna come to the end and you ain't gonna see no remnants of it. Except maybe a couple, couple podiums from courthouses, you know, anything, statue and podiums and shit like that. That's why they want the statues to of, of they, of they uh, races historians to, to stay in society but they quickly tore them down because they knew it was wrong so they, they try to slowly do little small shit that they think is right but if you're gonna be right be morally right all the way you know god just gave me this message y'all and it's just basically to to, to bring spiritual debate and to, to to plant a seed in your mind i have no malicious intent and um, I don't know. That's all I had to say, man. God bless y'all. Y'all have a safe night out here.